This week, I'm going to talk about our findings of the new new ebook that we released around the opportunities and challenges which small banks are facing in US right now, especially in the lending space, which is seeing a lot of competition from fintech and paytech players. What are some of those new and unique threats that are now facing smaller banks? There was a recent Fed report which said that 32% of the business owners actually now put speed as their first preference over anything else when they are looking for a business loan. So this challenge has been brewing for the last few years. Uh, now what has happened is that fintechs have starting to achieve the scale. And more than that, most of the consumers who are also include small businesses have are preferring online channels more. Uh, so in case of you know Best to Credit, when we started the company, more than 80% of the customers who used to go online first used to go to their bank, uh, ask for a loan. If they didn't get a loan, then only they used to go online. Now almost 95% plus of the customers first want to go online, check their options, and then want to go to a bank. So that's very different. And this has happened in the last like four or five years. I think what is also starting to happen is that fintech players are creating more awareness in the market. And then with mainstream players like PayPal and Square and other folks coming into this space, it, it is starting to create a lot of pressure for small banks. And now we are starting to see that they are facing more and more competition. What are the opportunities that small banks have that they can exploit for these paytech and fintech companies that are coming up? So one big chink in the armor of fintech still is that the cost of money is pretty high compared to small banks. So I think that's one where partnership opportunities are great. I think the other place is that Small banks still have good sense of underwriting and risk management. And I think the third advantage they have is that they have local relationships. What are the two or three areas you would concentrate on to turn the corner and really make these improvements that you're referring to? Yeah, so if I was leading a small bank, you know, the one area, what I would look at is how good my branches are. Do I need to shrink them, shut them, or make them more of a technology, you know, centers, you know, so, so that's important because today, most of these small banks still spend most of their money on operating a branch network. So they need to very quickly you know, decide how many branches they really need. The second thing is composition of their staff. Most of the staff today is retail facing. You know, while what they need is some mix of technology people and data science people, even in-house. So how do I take my staff cost out, you know, which is more retail driven and make it more into a technology and a data science, whether I retrain my people, whether I retrench them or whether I you know, add new people. So that's important. But they cannot do any of this stuff until and unless fundamentally they reduce their fixed cost. What are the most effective leaders of small and community banks doing today that differentiate their companies from the, the other 6,000? So the most effective leaders are those who are not fearful of change. The guys who are embracing change, you know, who are moving forward, who are saying, okay, we'll try something. You know, we have a bank here in Pennsylvania, and they have embraced that change. You know, they went and put out a cloud-based platform with us, you know, two, three years back. You know, they've been able to reduce their time to do SBA loans from like five, six days to less than two hours. You know, they have trained their team. You know, their teams have become very good at that. They're adding new features all the time. So that's a very important aspect that you should be willing to embrace change and you need to be continuously changing yourself and moving forward with that. The second is being open to new ideas. Third is partner with people, you know, because some partnerships will work, some will not work, but it's still better than not partnering. My take is that this is a challenging time for small banks and their leaders. Having said that, every challenging time actually brings in a lot of opportunities. If the small banks can transform themselves from being branch led to technology led, they will be surprised to see the amount of growth that they can have over the next few years not just in their core markets, but markets beyond that also. 